Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the K3, CR1, and IR1 visa, specifically the American marriage visas. That's what I look at these visa categories as. And we're specifically looking at these in the context of the I-601 waiver. For those who are unaware, if someone is found inadmissible to the United States, there may be a remedy to that finding of inadmissibility. For example, if someone has a criminal record or even they have a record of activity or they, they, have, they have engaged in activity which they have not been cited, arrested, or convicted for, but they merely engaging in certain activity can be deemed to be a ground of inadmissibility, notwithstanding a lack of any sort of governmental oversight or governmental citation. And for example, we see this somewhat frequently where folks may have been engaged in uses of certain drugs and even though they haven't been arrested or convicted for it, there's also issues surrounding prostitution, crimes involving moral turpitude, where again, somebody may not have been convicted, but there may be a fact finding of a, of a ground of inadmissibility, which results in a denial of either the CR1, IR1, or K3 visa. Now, the thing to take away from this video and understand, yes, again, there may be a remedy for this. It's all gonna be very, very fact dependent. So there's, and I-601 waivers, this is not sort of, you know, low level document processing. I mean, these things are thick. Uh, some of them, I've filed I-601 waiver cases that are as thick as two phone books. I mean, th these are really thick cases. Uh, they're, they're quite, you have to meet high levels of burdens of proof. You have to meet a high threshold for an approval, a favorable exercise of discretion in those cases. And, you know, it's not something, in my opinion, that most lay people are going to be able to handle very well on their own. I'm not saying it's impossible, but this is one of those instances where I do have to say legal assistance is a really good idea, especially someone with the expertise in specifically in the space of the I-601 waiver because it is so complex. So again, the thing to take away from this video, yes, there may be a remedy for a denial on either, an, on either a CR1, IR1, or K3 visa. That remedy is very likely what we call an I-601 waiver. But those who are looking to get into, sort of do a deep dive into this, it's probably a good idea to contact a legal professional, gain some insight and guidance into how best to proceed.